All right. So adding videos and captioning. There we go. All right. So we before we get into to videos and stuff, let's first talk about hosting. So um, my biggest piece of advice for you guys is to not upload videos directly to your website. Um, videos should never be directly uploaded to your media library and then placed on your site. Videos are incredibly large files that will slow down your website. Uh, instead of hosting them on your WordPress, you're better off hosting them on a third party site um, like YouTube is the most popular and then linking it using the URL and then um, when you plug in a URL on your page, it automatically will um, translate it into being a video. Okay, using a site like YouTube to upload videos also allows you to caption your videos. So um, if you have watched my accessibility video, you or yes, if you've watched my accessibility video on YouTube, you would know that um, anytime you're gonna add a video or audio, you've got to include either a transcript or make sure that you've captioned that video. And YouTube has a pretty great way to do this. Now, um, what I'm sharing here for um, videos, some some of you might not want to have videos on your site and that's totally fine. Um, so don't feel like you need to absorb all of this. You might not be having videos on your site and then you really don't have to worry about this, but I wanna just go over this function just in case this is something that you would like to do, okay? So when you are on your, uh, Everybody that has a Gmail account, has, you automatically have access to a YouTube account. Okay, so we're signed into Hey Memorial's uh, um, general Gmail account. And if we went to the YouTube studio, we would find all of the content that has been uploaded there, right? So if we click on content, we can see that some videos have been added um, to the website, okay? So um, I'm not going to get too much into like how to upload YouTube videos and stuff. Those are things you can easily um, kind of Google or, you know, get on YouTube and have YouTube show you how to do it. But um, typically you're always going to go into the YouTube studio, which you can find right here on the right hand side when you click over your account, that uh, menu of stuff pops up and your YouTube studio is where your content that you've created or you're going to upload, that's where you're gonna do it, okay? So I've already got some pre-uploaded content that we're gonna take a look at. And we're gonna just click on the signing up for the library card one um, and take a look here. So when I bring this up, it brings up all of my video details, okay? But what's really important about this for accessibility is that here on the bottom left-hand side of the menu, you'll see subtitles. So if we click on this, you'll see that um, it does an auto-generated an auto generated um, subtitle. And I have already added one. Um, I've already added a caption. So you'll see if we go here, um, it opens up an editor. So what I should actually do is let me back out and show you how you would add a text. Libby doesn't have anything. So again, we're back at Libby. We're going to go down to subtitles. We're going to set the language for that video. This is what pops up if you haven't set captions up for your video yet. Okay. And we're going to go to English United States and we're going to confirm that. Okay. So what you'll see once you do that is you'll see that here is where I've added that the language of the video is English United States. And then here are some automatic captions that YouTube automatically does for you using uh, their software, okay? So what I like to do is, is I actually like to take the automatic captions that they've already uh, made for me and I would just edit them for clarity um, correct any words that they've translated incorrectly and then add proper grammar. So if you hit duplicate and edit, it brings up all of the text for your, uh, for your video. And so you can see that it's not, there's no real rhyme or reason grammar in here. Hey is H-E-Y, this should be H-A-Y. So you can correct all of this stuff within here. You can also click on assign timings so that if you wanna make sure that it 
um, is playing at the right time for when you're saying it, you can change that over here. I find, I, I'll just level with you and tell you that I find that YouTube pretty much the timings I, I don't really correct because they're pretty much spot on. So I pay more attention to editing the text and making sure that it's grammatically correct. Okay, so um, YouTube is really great in that respect that you can use this as a way to easily provide captions and make sure that your videos that you're going to link on your website are accessible.